Australian journalist Cheng Lei has gone on trial in this court in Beijing. She's charged with illegally supplying state secrets overseas. Australian officials tried to get access to the court on Thursday morning, but were denied on grounds of national security. This is deeply uh, concerning, unsatisfactory and regrettable. Um, we can have no confidence in the validity of a process uh, which is conducted in secret. My name is Cheng Lei. Cheng worked as a television presenter for state broadcaster CGTN before being detained in August 2020. She was formally arrested a year ago. The Australian government says it has no information regarding the allegations made against her and has expressed concern for her welfare in detention. China's foreign ministry has dismissed the complaints. Chinese judicial authorities are handling the case in accordance with the law and fully guarantee all the rights of the person involved. Chung was born in China and raised in Australia. Her two young children are being cared for by relatives there. She hasn't been able to speak to any of them since her arrest. Rowan Kallick, a former correspondent in China and friend of Chung's, says it's unlikely she'll get a fair trial. The process might be due process in terms of the Chinese system, but not in terms of most of how the rest of the world runs its courts. So I fear that uh, Lei herself, except insofar as she can gauge from the thrust of the interrogation to which she's been subject, may well not know the detail of what she's said to have done. Chung Lei's trial comes at a time of tense relations between China and Australia. Canberra has been a vocal critic of Beijing's handling of the pandemic and its human rights record. This has resulted in unofficial trade blocks on Australian imports. And today, there are no journalists left working in China for Australian media companies. Another Australian, writer Yang Hong Jun, is being detained in China on spying charges and was tried in May. There's yet to be a verdict in his case. Chung Lei could be sentenced to life in jail if she's convicted. In China, 99% of defendants in criminal cases are found guilty. Katrina Yu, Al Jazeera, Beijing.